What is up, it's Coach Ryan Rizuki with I Love Basketball TV. Today we're gonna to talk about how you can get a quicker release, just like Steph Curry. Let's get to it. So to get a quicker release, it's all about having a one motion and a quick, fluid shot. So to do that, you wanna have the ball start low and your body start low as well. And as you go up to shoot it, the ball will rise and your body will follow. A Couple of things you don't wanna do is to have your body move first and then the ball move second. Also, what you see a lot of players do is they start to have the ball come outside and away from them, and this is causing that motion of out, in, and then back out where you have some sort of catapult. So, what we want to focus on is one, keeping the ball close to our body. So if we have the ball closer to our body from our quad, through our chest, through our eye, we can release really clean and get that one motion shot. And I'm gonna show you a drill that we can do to help with this. That way we're not pushing the ball far away from us and then bringing it back. Two. We wanna make sure that the ball is not crossing our head in any way, shape, or form. So what we don't wanna do is have the ball come here, here, or here. You wanna make sure that ball gets in front of your forehead and then releases really clean without having to pause in any way, shape, or form as well. Now, we've limited the ball going away and crossing. So now that catapult motion is gone. But what we need to do is make sure that our body starts low and then as the ball goes up, we can release it really clean in one motion. And I talked about how sometimes the body will move first. So I'll show you a drill to help with that as well. So the first thing that we want to address is making sure the ball moves before the body. You don't want to have the ball go up as your body goes down. That's really bad for rhythm and won't allow you to have a quick release. So grab a chair or a stool, you're gonna be sitting down and put the ball in your quad. From here, you're gonna be on your toes, the ball will rise and then the body will follow. And now you're able to go up with the ball because you cannot do this since you're already sitting down. So if the ball is high and your body's low, that's a problem. You want both down together, and then you wanna come up together and release really clean. So this right here, you wanna get as many repetitions until that becomes a normal feeling motion. So that way when you get into a dribble pull up, ball low, body low, rise together, and then you can release really cleanly off that bounce. Or if you're catching it low, you can rise together with that ball, and that's gonna help with your fluidity. So now you get rid of that hitch, and you get rid of that motion where the ball comes up, your body goes low, and then you end up pushing. So that's the first thing that we have to make sure that we get a quicker release. If you still find yourself struggling because the ball continues to move out, something you can do is put something here, right? Some sort of object really close to you. So now when you bring it up, it forces you to bring that ball up instead of pushing it out. So keeping this object close, we can bring it up really tight and then release that ball to the rim. Just like I said, one fluid and solid motion avoiding the out and avoiding the pullback. Now what we'll do is get the transfer of energy from the ball from the ground to the rim. So what we wanna get is that bounce and then pick it up and release as cleanly as possible. If you notice as a right hand bounce goes down, I'm right hand pick up and then I'm gonna get the left hand to touch it and continue to flow all the way through my shot, bringing it from this right quad to my right chest, through my right eye straight, line through the rim. Right, if I'm going left hand bounce, I'm left hand bounce. Boom, and it comes straight up. But I gotta make sure I'm left hand dribble, left hand pick up. So one, boom. So the ball will never stop moving from the ground to the rim. And this is a really good way to work on that quickness with your shot so you can be just like Steph Curry. So we'll get that bounce, and we'll flow straight into shot. So boom, and no pauses. We'll go right hand, and then we'll go left hand as well. Just bounce, boom. And you can see how when the ball goes down, my body goes with it. When the ball goes up, my body goes with it. And now we're just focusing on the fluidity and our touch really close to the rim. So this is gonna help you to get a much quicker shot. What you want to avoid is what I talked about earlier, pushing out, pulling behind your head, or standing up. And you can see the ball is low, my body's high, and then getting into this and this. So now we're gonna have a much more fluid jump shot that allows that one quick motion, a really clean release, and a very straight shot path as well. Next is gonna be our in-out dribbles. So you're gonna turn an in-out dribble, go down with the ball and up with the ball, stay flowing and fluid all the way through your shot. Then you get crossover, boom, quick cross, body goes low, ball goes low, up together. And then after your cross, you'll go through the legs and then behind the back, all starting with the right hand. Then you do the same thing with the left, down, up, down, up, down, up, et cetera, et cetera, going through the legs and behind the back. This will help you to get quickly off the bounce. Boom, and then up into your shot with all of these moves. So now you can get that quick pickup and flow directly into the shot. 
and you can see and pay attention and notice when that ball has a hitch because you're going to be down, up, pause, and then shoot. And you don't want to have any of those pauses from the ground. You want it to go straight to the rim pretty much because we're working on that quick and fluid shot. We're not working on a hanging shot or a fadeaway or other shots that involve you to have more patience with it or have more strength. These are going to be those quick ones where you hit them with a move and get it up as fast as possible right up and over. For this drill, we're going to have five spots. So we're starting in the corner here. We want to have dribble pull up with the right hand, dribble pull up with the left hand, and then catch and shoot three. If you're not ready to shoot from that far, start the whole drill from the short corner. We're going from the corner, the wing, the top, the wing, and the other corner. Now, now that you have your five spots, you understand that everything is going to be dribble pull up, dribble pull up, catch and shoot. Dribble pull up, dribble pull up, catch and shoot. You're repeating that pattern. If you make five out of seven shots, you get to move on. If you don't, you have to move back. So we're here, one dribble, boom, flow off the ground, straight into the shot, go the other direction, boom, one dribble, flow off the ground, straight into the shot, and then catch and shoot. So the goal is to have your feet set, boom, quickly on every single shot. If you do make five out of seven, you move on. You do the same thing from the wing, from the top, from the other wing, and from the other corner. If you don't achieve the goal of five out of seven, you have to move back. Now, for your footwork, you want to go inside outside every time. So I'm coming to the right side, I'm boom, left, right, step into it really clean so I don't waste any steps. That's a huge part of having a nice fluid shot. If I'm going to this way, the left, I'm boom, right, left. Now I don't have any wasted movements. You can see how much more fluid this is. Boom, shot versus, and then shot, where I'm kind of having to hop into it or one, two, three, which a lot of people do. So just getting rid of steps is huge for your fluidity. Now, when you catch and shoot, I'm coming to this, I can just drop and pop. So I can drop my feet, boom, and then have my energy flow up. But you notice that my body's low and the ball is low, so I'm coming in it, boom, and together. Boom, and together. So now I don't have to dip the ball even lower, which is not a problem, but I start low with that catch, and then I come up together and make it really, really fluid. So every shot is down and up together, down and up together. I'm landing on balance, and I'm able to shoot them really quick, but also consistently. We hope you enjoyed today's video, so make sure to hit that thumbs up button if you did, and subscribe as we're dropping new videos every single week. So make sure you hit that notification bell. And if you hit the link and the pinned comment down below, it's gonna give you access to our new shooting program. So make sure that you go get that one, as it's an incredible program and it's gonna help you a ton. We'll catch you guys in the next video. Yeah, I'm